In a recent Newsmax TV interview, the perpetually perplexing former President Donald Trump showcased his knack for steering conversations into the uncharted waters of historical ramblings. When asked a simple question about loneliness, Trump embarked on a journey through time, regaling viewers with tales of Andrew Jackson's supposed woes. According to Trump's historical musings, Jackson, poor chap, suffered the greatest presidential indignities known to mankind. Forget the Civil War and other trivial matters, Jackson's tribulations apparently took top billing. And let's not overlook the tragic demise of his wife, conveniently attributed to the relentless persecution he faced. Never mind that she met her end before his presidential stint even began. Details, details. But Trump's penchant for historical revisionism is just the tip of the iceberg. With over 30,000 recorded lies during his tenure in office, he's elevated dishonesty to an art form. His linguistic acrobatics, reversing sentences, misplacing subjects, and referring to himself in the third person, are a spectacle to behold. It's like watching a linguistic gymnastics competition, except there's no gold medal for coherence. Yet, despite this carnival of contradictions, the media circus continues to treat him as a legitimate candidate. Are we witnessing democracy in action, or a Shakespearean tragedy gone awry? Trump's antics blur the line between reality and farce, leaving us to ponder whether we're spectators at a political theater or unwitting participants in a surrealist nightmare. And let's not forget his penchant for conspiracy theories, Russia, Ukraine, impeachment hoaxes galore. It's a whirlwind of deception and delusion, with Trump at the helm, steering us toward the abyss of authoritarianism. But fear not, dear viewers, for amidst the chaos, a glimmer of hope remains. As we navigate this dystopian landscape, let us not succumb to despair. Let us stand firm against the tide of falsehoods and fabrications, armed with the most potent weapon of all, satire. After all, in a world gone mad, laughter may be our last bastion of sanity. Are you ever lonely? So I was, over the years, I love history, I study history, and I was always told that Andrew Jackson, as a president, was treated the absolute worst. He was just really lambasted. And I heard Abraham Lincoln was second, but he was in a thing called the Civil War, so you can understand that. But Andrew Jackson was really, really treated badly. In fact, his wife died during the process. I mean, a lot of people say she died because of the way they were treated. I mean, she was heartbroken and, and broken in so many other ways. And I heard that for years. And I look now, even last night I was saying it, I said, there's no, I don't care, Andrew Jackson or anybody else, nobody has, when you think of the, the fake things, nobody's been treated like Trump in terms of badly. Russia, 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 Ukraine, 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 everything was a scam. And it literally starts the new one. As you win one, you start the other. Impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two. All hoaxes and scams.